Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another exciting edition of Demi Kun Plays. Uh, still playing Everlasting Summer, I've become emotionally involved in this game, don't you judge me. And um, so right now we're with the little one who is slightly violent, more of a trickster, like your generic uh, younger female in just about any anime or JRPG. And uh, so just had a violent scene with her in the cantina and now she's asking me if I hate her and I don't hate her. In fact, she's one of my favorite people. Alright, anyways, continue on. For her face being so serious that I was ready to believe that it was just not another one of her tricks. Why do you think so? I have no idea. That's exactly why I'm asking you. I don't hate you. It's just that sometimes you behave as, well, you know, as simple as that, but still true. As what? I have no idea. She lifted her gaze, bullying at me with curiosity. Well, for starters, what's the great idea about pouring the comet all over me? You were asking for it. She smiled for the first time I've seen since we started the cleaning. Yeah, exactly. I heaved a deep sigh. What do you expect from the others then? Nothing. She reacted acidly. This discussion was over, so I just continued to clean up in silence. It took us a few hours to fix up the canteen. At least all the broken tableware was gone. The chairs and the tables were still in the designated places, and the floors looked clean. We were sitting there when Elena, next to the food counter, breathed heavily, deserved resting. Now you see how much effort we put into because of a silly trick. But I'm not tired at all. Though the sweat was pouring down her face, told the complete opposite. Well, good for you. So, what are we gonna do next? I don't know about you, but I'd rather go. Nope, that's not all. You have to... She hesitated. You have to help me with another little thing. Think of another silly prank? You bet. She was smiling broadly. I'm not your man here. I'm more fed up with just one pun I'm more than fed up with just one punishment for today. Okay, here's the deal. If you're gonna help me now, there won't be another single prank. Sure, that was an inviting prospect, but somehow I couldn't bring myself to trust the Luna for even a moment. Well, it won't hurt to ask. So what's your cunning plan? We're gonna steal the candies. What? I should have expected something like that. Candies are for kids. So the chef will come out to the dump at the trash can. Nobody's gonna see us. Meow. Yeah. Ah, uh, whatever. She grunted and turned away. This I'll do it myself. And I won't allow. I couldn't even finish my sentence as it went up and started to jump over the counter and ran to the cabinet, opened the doors, and started rummaging through it. Hey, cut that. It's not like you have gotten enough problems with Olga. She didn't reply. You won't get away with just cleaning duty for something like that. Olga closed the cabinet. She held a bag of candies in her hand. Ah, you little... Put it back. She stuck out her tongue and at me and dashed off through the back door. I couldn't just leave it like that. <sighs> I've darted in a chase. Sure, the girl is quite a head start, but I've still funneled all my energy into the pursuit. I won't lose her again. We ran through the square. Turned our steps to the music club building. Then came out to the forest trail. I almost caught up with Alyssa when she stopped abruptly. I couldn't pull as, sh as sharp so I crashed into her sending us sprawling. We rolled down on the grass. Gotcha! I gave a victorious shout. No you didn't. She replied with an ashamed tone. Luna was lying under me. Her face was right next to mine. I felt her wavy breath and the heat of her body. Sure, right now she's only a child, but soon enough she'll become a woman. It was pretty embarrassing. <laughs> Gonna rape me? She said, coming back to her sentences. You want me to? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This game just took a really dark turn. Whoa. <laughs> Anyways, it was more like a game to for her. Sure I do. 
She made a cunning smile and snorted quietly. Or was it just my imagination? I'm not really in the mood. Oh, whatever. And I reached out and bit my nose. I wasn't expecting that, and I even pulled back a little. Just a few moments of hesitation were enough for her to twist out and run a dozen feet away. Watch it. You're going to regret it later. She laughed out and disappeared into the woods. The candy bag was left lying on the ground near me. I wonder if she dropped it on purpose. It's getting near dinner time, so I had to hurry and return the candies. I preferably, very preferably, stayed under the radar. Of course, I'll explain the situation that it was Luna who stole them, but who's going to believe me? Olga was already waiting for me at the entrance of the canteen. Good job, Seaman. On what? I had the bag of sweets behind my back. The bag was transparent, too big to put in the back pocket. I'll stop at the cleanup. Everything is clean and tidy. And where's Elena? Uh, and where is Elena? I wish I knew. She'll, she'll come soon. Okay then, go and have your dinner. I entered the canteen. Not a big surprise that it was full. I really don't know how to return the bag without being noticed. Certainly I can do it in the evening, but what will I do with it now? Seymour! I turned around and saw was in front of me. Wow, what is this? She looked at the bag I didn't manage to hide it in time. Caught red hat and more like candy handed. Let's prefer, prepare for some scolding. This is sweet? From where? I, st I stole it, damn it. Got them from Luna. Oh, I see. Same old stew. What do you mean? It's not the first time she stole she stole sweets. And why am I not surprised? Let me handle this. Thanks. Sima saved the day yet again. She took the bag and headed for the buffet. I had no desire to listen to what she was going to say when returning the sweets back. I started to look at the canteen for a place to sit. It seemed that I'll have to share another table with electronic and shirt. There were no more places to sit. See, man. so, uh, what's happening, gentlemen? Every time I had to deal with them, I was getting an itching desire to tease them or at least drop something cheap in a corky. Talking. <laughs> corky. <laughs> it made, it made, it might be too risky to behave myself that way. The electronic brother, the electronic brothers were a primary source of positive emotion. How are you doing? Fine. What about you? It's nasty. Was there anything up? No, not this stuff. My setter. Nah, some other time maybe. I'll do this. You made a helpless gesture. We're going to go to the disco after the Electronic giggle. I know that. Who would you want to ask out? I haven't thought about it yet. What about you? Oh, uh, well, I... It seemed, it seemed this question caught him off guard. Ask Helena. She would... That would make her happy. No. Thanks. Electronics furiously waved his hand. And you sure... Ooh, go, gotta ask Alyssa out. Yeah, I'd rather abstain. He looked calmer than his mate. Oh, come on, guys. It would be fun. In any case... We got the, we got things to do. We still have to finish the robot. That's a marvelous idea. Ask out your robot. Can it dance? Can't even walk yet. Should probably miss the point completely. <coughs> Why would it be a great demonstration of our achievement in front of Cap? And what would we show? And what would we show to them? Yeah, you're right. We both stared at the plates disappointingly. Alright, it looks like that's the end of this episode. Um, and again, people, thank you for all your support. It, it means a lot to me. And you know what? Stay frosty. Have a good day. And you know, look forward to more videos. And if you have any comments, thoughts, feedback, good, positive, anything you'd like me to see you try to do, anything like that, just you know, send me a message. Have a good day, stay frosty.